Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harrison from LearnYourLand.com and I have such a special guest on this video today. Her name is Jennifer Farr Davis and Jennifer was recently awarded the National Geographic Adventurer of the Year title for completing the fastest through hike on the Appalachian Trail. And that's what we say up here, Appalachian. To everybody else it's Appalachian. Now Jennifer recently embarked on a book tour throughout the northeastern United States in support of two of her books, Becoming Odessa and Called Again, and I highly recommend both of them. And I caught up with Jennifer at two of her presentations, one in Youngstown, Ohio, and the second in Pittsburgh. And that same week, I had the unique opportunity to go foraging with her throughout Shenley Park in Pittsburgh. Afterwards, I asked her a few questions on video, including what has always inspired her to get outside? How did she get introduced to the wonderful world of foraging? And a little bit about her wonderful business down in Asheville, North Carolina, Blue Ridge Hiking Company, and all the wonderful work that it's doing. Thanks so much for tuning in. I had such a blast hanging out with Jennifer that week. Without any further introduction on my part, here's Jennifer Farr Davis. My name is Jennifer Farr Davis and I am a hiker and an author and a speaker and we have a guiding company in North Carolina called Blue Ridge Hiking Company. I think I went into nature because I felt like something was missing, um, something felt you know, no pun intended, but very unnatural, and there was this void, and historically, people have spent so much more time interacting um, with the earth, and so I didn't think it would be a long-term lifestyle change. It was actually, I just graduated from college and wanted to have one adventure before I started my career. So I picked the Appalachian Trail, and I was out there for five months to finish it, and then that changed me and changed my life and it's made everything better and now I just can't imagine living without making the outdoors a part of who I am and my lifestyle. It was interesting like I'm very grateful for recreation for getting me into the outdoors because I, I love movement and I love the grace that comes with what I like to say dancing down the trail because it becomes very rhythmic and meditative and for me that was the introduction to to a lot more of what the outdoors has to offer and it's cool i think it, it's taken me probably too long to get into foraging and plant identification and medicinal and edible plants but now i just feel like it's an important part of knowing where you're at and also who you are and it's just like going around your home like you want to know what's in your home you want to know about the furniture you want to know about the books or the music and when I'm on the trail it's my home and I feel more at home if I know the plants I feel more at home and more confident if I know how to take care of myself on the trail for example today we we talked about plantain which is super common in the outdoors and I remember the first time I got stung by a bee and realized that I could take a leaf and chew it up and, and put it on the bee sting and that that would help. And that was so um, so simple but so empowering. So I, I feel like foraging is a lost language that we all should know and um, it's almost going extinct and so it's really important to me to try to learn as much as I can um, for my own benefit but also to pass along to my daughter and others who are interested. So Blue Ridge Hiking Company, it's funny, I've talked to a lot of different outfitters or guides and I tell them about our company and they're like, well yeah, but what's the point? And I'm like, what do you mean, what's the point? And they're like, what's the point? Are you teaching self-confidence? Are you instilling leave no trace? Like, what's the point? Is it spiritual? Is it foraging? And I'm like, well hopefully it's all those things. I've always felt so free in the wilderness. I guess the point of Blue Ridge Hiking Company is to not regulate that emotional connection to the woods, to allow people to feel free and connect in however they feel brings the most value to the experience. Um, so I love, um, I love when people call and want to know about the plants and want to taste things along the way. And we have two guides who are, um, one's a herbalist and one's an ecologist, and they're really good about that. But also we have folks who just want to come and sit in a rock and look around. We have folks who want to um, sketch pictures on their hike or take photos. Um, we have a lot of people who do it as a date because going into the woods is a really awesome bonding experience. So I like that we kind of avail ourselves to all different connections to the wilderness and at the same time, 
I think our herbalist guide said it the best. She said, you know, when people tell me they're not interested in plants, that's when I start to talk about it even more because usually they're not interested in it because they have absolutely no knowledge. And as soon as they take ownership and have a little bit of knowledge, they start to ask more questions and also appreciate what's around them. Um, I think it's getting easier and easier to get outdoors as a beginner. There's a lot of great resources online. There's meetup clubs. I'm a big fan of um, trail clubs. If you live on the East Coast, uh, most people don't know that the Appalachian Trail is actually maintained by 31 regional trail clubs. And they do trail maintenance. Um, they'll also do plant walks for identification. They also do beginner hiking and backpacking trips and skills. And most of the clubs, it's like a $20 yearly membership. So to get involved there and learn from people who have been doing it a long time is an awesome resource. And for most people, it's just important to take that first step. A lot of the, the real obstacles for getting outdoors are, are emotional or unseen. And once you get out there, you can learn the technical skills and you can continue learning. I've been, like you said, hiking all over, over 12,000 miles, and I still have so much to learn. And that's what's exciting about the wilderness is it meets you at every phase of life. And there's always more that you can do and more that you can learn.